pants. Today I have a little review for you on some training pants. These are the Big Elephant brand of training pants with side snaps and I've been using these with Erin for at least a couple of months now and I just wanted to come on here and tell you about them so you know that they are an option for the potty training days. And just in case you're wondering, stay tuned until the end and we will have a little update on Erin's potty training regression situation. <laughs> So let's start off with a little breakdown here so you guys can really see this up close. So it's just like your traditional brief style training pants. It has a little bit of extra absorbency in the inside here like you would for, you know, the beginning initial days of potty training. But the cool thing about these is that they have snaps on the sides. So. You can see how I'm unsnapping this. I'm taking each individual snap and unsnapping it. I'm not yanking down the entire side. These snaps can break on you. I own 12 pairs of these and I have had one snap break. As soon as I broke that first snap, I started unbuttoning them like so. So you will save your snaps if you just unbutton them like this instead of trying to rip the whole thing down. So they have three layers of absorbent fabric, a TPU waterproof layer in there, and then the outside cotton fabric of the underpants themselves. Now you can see inside the real like um, extra paddedness starts about right here. So this up top is only like maybe two layers of fabric. So it starts right here, this is the butt side and goes all the way to just a couple inches, you know, like an inch from the front side. So you've got all of this area here that is that three layers of absorbency, and it's relatively thick. It's a pretty nice um, thickness, I would say. It's not too big and bulky, but it's not quite, you know, as thin as just underpants. So these move just like regular underwear. You can pull them up and down really easily. They're nice and stretchy. Um, they do have a little bit of stretch in the leg sections as well. But they just have that extra bonus of having the side snaps, which is great for poo incidents, as you know. <laughs> They're actually even kind of nice if you just want to unsnap them for a potty accident without having to remove your kiddo's pants. You can just pull the pants down, unsnap these, and then you can like put a new one in between his legs and snap them up on him without having to remove his pants. We do that many times, <laughs> so we've totally done it and it works perfectly fine that way if it's just a potty accident too. So just another thing to keep in mind for the convenience of the snaps. So you can get a six pack of these for $26.99 on Amazon. Like I said, I own 12 of them. I bought a six pack. We were going through a potty regression and the potty regression continued happening and happening and happening. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna buy another pack. So I bought another pack and I have 12 of these total. And that's like a super good amount, I would say, for how many accidents and issues we've been having with our Aaron. <laughs> it's just been perfect. Six was not enough and 12 is perfect. Not way too much, but just a good, good number. Now, if you get on Amazon and you look at the reviews of these, a lot of people are going to complain about the snaps. But like I said, if you just take the extra time to undo each one individually, you shouldn't have any issues with your snaps. I do own a little device that will make new snaps like this. I own little snaps because I have cloth diapers and I've used them in the past making my own cloth diapers and stuff like that. So I have a little device to put the snaps on with. But if you don't have that, it probably would be super annoying if you broke your snaps on your underpants, <laughs> on your kiddo's underpants. So anyway, I don't think it's a big deal as long as you are being reasonable about it. You don't need to just yank the whole thing. That's unnecessary. But with that being said, I totally did it and I totally broke a snap. <laughs> and it was only maybe, maybe a week into our little uh, use of these. And so I was kind of pissed. But then once I started actually unsnapping them reasonably one by one. It's been like two months and I haven't had any issues since then, so. So like I said, they do have the waterproof layer in there and sometimes that's enough. Sometimes that will totally be a good barrier for Aaron's potty accidents. Every once in a while it will leak through, like if he, if he sits in it for a little too long or something, like it'll start leaking over or wicking off the edges, like where the legs are. So that's something to keep in mind. It's not gonna hold like a massive pee, but it will hold definitely small accidents and even like medium accidents without getting on their underwear or on their pants 
through their underwear onto their pants as long as you catch it quick enough. So if they are some, if they're somebody who will tell you that they just went potty in their underwear, you can get it off quick enough, then you should be able to salvage their pants. So the waterproof layer is a little bit helpful, I would definitely say. Overall, I would 100% recommend these. I love these. I wish that I had them when we were potty training Aaron the first time around. He potty trained over the summer and was totally potty trained by August and then all of a sudden, uh, like early December, he had a big regression <laughs> with his potty training and I only purchased these when we got to that regression, you know, the second time I was potty training him. And so I wish that I had these the first time around. They would have been perfect for him. The second time around, since he had been in regular underwear so much for the past five months before he decided, you know, before he started having issues with pottying again, he did not want to have any of the PUL, any of the stuff that looked like diapers. He wanted it to be underwear and these are perfect for that because they have the convenience for mama for cleaning up poo and pee messes with the snaps on the side, but they look and feel and act just like regular underwear so kiddo is not put off by that. So yeah, I would totally, totally recommend. I love these. These are great. These are awesome. So as far as sizing is concerned, I bought the 3T size. I believe Aaron was like 32-ish pounds last time I weighed him. He has always been on the taller side. His 3T pants are a little loose on him. Like uh, I just buy like usually at the Cat and Jack brand from Target. They're a little loose in the waist on him, but he still wears them around the house. So if that gives you any idea, these fit him really, really well. I will say that I've noticed like the waist fits him super good. The legs have stretched out a little bit over these last two months that I've owned them though. So sometimes if he's just wearing underwear around the house, sometimes when he goes to sit down and I'm like looking at him you can kind of see a little bit of a gap just like probably not even enough to like get your finger in there but just a little bit of a gap in the leg area just to kind of give you an idea so yeah anyway I would totally recommend these big elephant training pants with the snaps definitely if you have a kiddo who doesn't want to wear like stuff that looks like cloth diapers <laughs> or if you have a kiddo who's just having a little bit of a regression or like honestly if you just want to go straight into these if you're going to be sticking around the house for the potty training days you could probably get away with just going straight into these and just changing him every so often for the first couple weeks or whatever and then just like working your way into using these as underwear so I think they would be like super versatile whatever way you want to use them. I would so recommend getting them. And now that we have that training pants review out of the way, if you guys have been following me for a while or if you follow me on Instagram, you know that Erin has been having a little bit of a potty regression and I do want to talk a little bit about how things are progressing in that department and things are definitely looking really good right now. So it is February 1st as I'm filming this. I know it's going to be super in the future when you guys see it. It's probably like mid-March or something by the time you guys see this video. So we have been on this potty training regression stint for two months now. But things are finally in the past week and a half looking so much better, so much better. So like I said earlier, Aaron potty trained over the summer and then he had a regression come December and now it is February 1st and we're finally coming out of that regression. He has been good at overnights, which is awesome. The whole time that we've been having this regression, he's still been great about overnight. He, I don't think he's wet the bed once overnight and I always, as soon as I see him in the morning, I'm like, okay, let's go straight to the potty and he pees first thing in the morning and he's always been super good about that that hasn't been a problem and then from my last update which was oh goodness probably at least a month ago or something he's been fine with pee not perfect with pee but much much better with pee so the real issue that we have been working on this past month has been the poo accidents which is why these underwear are so awesome because you can unsnap for the poo accidents. So although he struggled with pee and poo a bit in that first month, the second month was really about the poo issues. And so I didn't want to put him back into diapers because I didn't want him to forget about the pee side of things. You know, he was doing so good with remembering to go potty. I didn't want to put him in a diaper that would be too restrictive and hard for him to remove and just, more difficult for him to do himself when I knew that he would be okay with peeing. It was just the pooing that was 
an issue. You know, I wanted to be able to contain the poo with him still being able to lower his underwear to go sit and pee or stand and pee at the potty. I was just so worried that if I put him back into just diapers that he was gonna just like really, really regress. And so that's why I wanted to find some kind of other solution and I'm so glad that I did. <laughs> So we have tried many things. We have tried snacks for successfully going on the potty. We have tried stickers for going on the potty. He even spent the night at grandma's a couple weeks ago and she let him have star thumbnail thumbtacks that he could stick into the wall when he went potty. So he's had a lot of things that have been fun rewards for going potty. And he really didn't care about any of them until my husband came up with the idea to let him have the iPad while sitting on the potty and trying to poo. So a week and a half ago, my husband said, let's just try this and see how it goes. So we would have Aaron sit on the potty. He got two minutes or three minutes, we would set the timer on Alexa and he would sit on the potty with the iPad on his lap and he got two or three minutes to go poo or to do nothing or to do whatever he wanted to do. And if he went poo, he would get 10 minutes on the iPad after he was finished. And that may have been the magic solution. <laughs> I don't know if it's a coincidence. You know how it goes. Kids can change overnight for no reason, but the day we started implementing iPad time and iPad as a reward, that's the day everything started coming back together. <laughs> so for the first like three or four days or something, you could kind of smell him like he was tooting and you knew that he was ready to go to the potty. And so if I smelled him and I knew that he was kind of being smelly, I was like, okay, let's go to the potty. So we'd go to the potty. I, you know, us as grown-ups noticed that he probably needed to poo and then we would put him on the potty, give him the iPad for two or three minutes and then he would go poo. So he started making the connection again, you know, if I poo, I get to be rewarded. We, you know, so we've had so much like, you know, just celebration, like just clapping and, you know, getting really excited. Like it was definitely a lot of praise, definitely. And it still is every time he poos on the potty because it is a big deal. It's so awesome to see him finally like making the connection again. But after those like four days or so of us as the grown-ups kind of knowing when he needed to go poo, he finally started putting it back together himself. And he would say, I pooed my pants and he may not have pooed his pants. He may have just like had a tiny accident or he may not have pooed yet and we'd go straight to the bathroom and then he would get to finish his poo on the potty or whatever. So after just a few days, he was starting to tell us again instead of us noticing and telling him to go, you know? So he's still having pee accidents once every two or three days. So a couple of pee accidents in a week is not a big deal to me. I, I don't care. I just wanted to take care of the poo incidents. I know that it's very common still. My first son Calvin still had pee accidents a couple times a week for quite a while after he was like trained, you know? So for Aaron to still be having a couple little pee accidents, that is not the problem. That's not a big deal to me. It was the poos that we needed to fix and they have been so much better this past week and a half. Everything is finally starting to look up. And so um, I hope that filming this video is not going to uh, jinx us in any way. <laughs> oh, we did try doing the naked method again because that's kind of how I potty trained him the first time around was just letting him run around without pants on. And we tried that again this time. It was probably mm, several weeks ago we tried that. And Aaron peed on my husband. Then he came up and laid in bed with me and peed on me and all over the bed. And then he also was sitting on the couch and he started pooping and he like moved his whole body sideways so that he wouldn't like poop into the couch, like under his butt. Like he knew he was pooping and he like moved out of the way so he wouldn't get all poopy. And I was like, no, <laughs> what the heck? So that was like, I was, I was done with the naked method after that poop incident. I was like, no, this is not happening. We're, we're gonna have to just deal with poo in underpants cause I'm not letting him poop on the couch like that. So it is kind of funny because the first time when I potty trained him over the summer last year, I totally thought poo was going to be an issue. I totally thought that that couch situation was going to happen when we first potty trained him and it never did. He never had a big, big issue with pooping um, when we first trained him. So it was such a weird thing that he has had such trouble with poop this time around in this part of the regression and this particular stage of potty training. So <laughs> it's been weird, but 
I'm so happy things are finally starting to turn around. If you guys have any potty training regression tips or anything, let them leave them down below so that people who are watching this video can also get some more help from you guys down there too. So, I know this was a little bit of a long video, but I'm happy to finally have a little bit of a resolution on the whole potty training regression thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what else you want to see here on this channel, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!